okay so welcome back to this channel so we have just completed our complete series of next.js 13 in which we have built a complete e-commerce site so i got a lot of comments about next connect that next connect is not working in latest version of next.js 13 okay so now let's handle that in this video so here you can see that i have uh, here my buy now project and the branch is three so in the third branch if i go back to my chrome you can see that here i have this product home page so in that if I go in the pages in the API products, I have this that is using next connect. Okay. And if I go to package or JS and you can see that here I have the old version of next and the next connect. So now let's install the latest versions and let's see how we can resolve that error. So I removed both from here. Okay. Simply save it. And then I install that. So npm i next and then the next dash connect dash dash save and let's install both of these packages. Okay, so now let's type here npmi to install other packages as well. Okay, so now let's run our project. First of all, I type here npm run dev. Okay, and now let's, uh, we have here duplicate page detected. Okay, so let's go to our app and remove uh, this page.js. So delete that. Okay, so now if I run my project again. So now let's uh, send the request to this API. Okay. So if I go back to my Chrome and let's type here slash API slash products. Uh, I think so slash API slash products. If I go back, you can see that here we have this error that this is not a function. Okay. So if I go to my next connect documentation uh, on the on the NPM page, you can see that here if I scroll down um, in the latest version, we have to use this create router instead of this NC okay then we have to use this router uh, to uh, manage our code and then we have to pass this on error middleware in the router.handler so let's see that if i go back i close this one let's call it down so here first of all if i just remove it i will import from next connect okay so i will simply import here create router okay and then I type here handler is going to be um, create router okay and here I will simply type here um, if I save it from here and go back and reload this page you can see that resolver is not a function okay so we have to basically uh, export here this router dot handler so I go back and type here um, let's call it router router then let's call it dot handler okay simply save it and now if i go back and reload this page you can see that now i am able to access all the json from the api so in this way we can simply resolve this error and in my upcoming videos i will use the error middleware if i go back here you can see that we have a branch here uh, error handling so in that we will use uh, we will handle our errors so let's cover that also if i go to my backend in the middlewares we have this errors.js file okay so if i copy that from here just to show you how we can use that i go back and then i go in the backend create a new folder that is called middlewares in that i create my file that is called errors.js okay so that i put that and i remove these code if i save it from here now we have to use that here okay and before that i will simply import here import on error that is import on error from um at backend slash middlewares slash errors okay and now we have to use this in here okay so I will put that like this, save it and now if I go back it will work properly. Um, so we have issue here, error handler is not found so we will simply remove that, save it. Now if I go back reload it, it, it is working fine. So for example, let's go in this get product and type here this product like this, save it. And now if I go back reload this page so you can see that here we are getting the error message that products is not defined. Okay. So this means that our uh, error handler is also working. Okay, 
so now uh, we have successfully resolved this issue and let us Roger we can also use um, this API in our app directory it will work fine in pages also if you want to use in the app you can also use that okay for example if I go to the app let's type here create a folder here with the name API okay in that I create a file just to show you let's type here hello dot js sorry hello folder we have to create here okay in the API we have to create a folder that is called hello in that I create my file that is called route.js make sure to type here route.js okay so how we can use this if I go back to my chrome and if I go in the documentation of next.js you can see that we have here route handlers so we can simply create an API folder in that we can create our route.js file okay so we simply have to export here a function for example if you want to send the get request we will simply use here get in that we will get access to the request and if you want to send the response we have to use this uh, next response from next slash server like this like next response dot json okay so if i go back so in that simply first of all i will import here the db connect okay oops then we have to before that we also have to import the from next connect if i go back to my chrome and i go here um, we have here documentation from next.js app router okay and then after that we can simply use that okay and then we have to type here for the get request put request let me show you that if I go back I will simply copy this from here and I paste that here okay and now let's first of all create our router so const router is going to be create edge router and then I will simply connect to my database and then now let's use here router dot get and let's pass in here get products from our controllers and let's export here export const function now this is a get route so i will use here get in that we have access to the request and i also have access to here context like this that is not const that is async okay so in that we simply return from here router dot run okay in that we have to pass the request and then the context so i will simply copy this request and context and pass that in the router dot run oops so it will be handled by the next connect if i simply save it from here now we are going to get an error if i go back and i type here slash api slash hello um you can see that this page is not working and if I go back here, you can see that res.status is not function. If I go here, now if you want to use this uh, app router, this res is not going to work here. We have to use the next response. Okay. If I comment out from here, now let's use here return next response from next slash server dot json. And now in that, we can simply pass in here the products. Save it now. If I go back and reload this page, okay. So we still have some issue that dot json is not a function okay or oh, that is next response not request this one save it and now if i go back reload this page now you can see that we are able to access all the data from our api so in this way you can simply use the page router as well it will work absolutely fine if you want to use the app router you can also use that okay i hope that you understand if you still have any question you can post it in the comment section i will try my best to respond there so that's it for this video, I will see you in some other video.